Tesla has revolutionized before our eyes, proving to the global auto giants the promise of using electric motors. Even though well-known automakers are trying to relentlessly follow the footsteps of Elon Musk's company, they are still far from the sales that Tesla demonstrates. Moreover, the owner of Tesla has another ace up his sleeve, with which he will significantly increase the lead over the competitors following closely behind. We're going to talk about this in today's video. Stay tuned. The structure of the car includes up to 30,000 parts that need to be installed, fixed, and fine-tuned. This figure was named in the Toyota company after disassembling one of the cars, as they say, to the screw. At the level of individual nodes, the figure is less, up to 2,000 details, but still impressive. Surprisingly, it only takes Tesla 90 minutes to completely assemble a car from ready-made kits. This is the final stage of robotic assembly on a conveyor belt. There is every reason to believe that Tesla's assembly speed will be even faster very soon. Until recently, Tesla adhered to the classic format of assembling vehicles from stamped parts, relying on the use of the latest industrial robots. But at the decisive stage of the Tesla Model Y release, the company decided to partially abandon robotic assembly in favor of a completely different production method – injection molding of individual body parts. The Tesla Model Y rear underbody is the first piece to be molded in one-piece format. In an interview, Elon Musk explained in detail why this particular body element was chosen. The rear of the undertray is usually two high-pressure die-cast aluminum parts that are connected to each other and many other elements. Putting two pieces together, even with the help of robots, is a laborious task. For the most precision fit, the mating parts must be machined on a high-precision machine after which about 70 more components are attached to them. It looks like a patchwork quilt. This is not great, said Musk. Musk seems to be referring to the Tesla Model 3 when talking about the 70 components in the rear underbody. Obviously, on the new models, Tesla engineers decided to move away from such a multi-component assembly in favor of a single molded part. For these purposes, the company purchased the largest die casting machines in the world by the name of Gigapress from the only manufacturer of such equipment, the IDRA Italian Industrial Corporation, part of the LK Group. For the first time, the giant press molding machine was presented in 2018. Two years later in 2020, Tesla began to use the OL6100 CS Gigapress in production with a length of 20 meters and a height of more than 5 meters. The first of such equipment was installed at the Tesla factory in Fremont, California. And the size of the machine turned out to be so large that it had to be installed outside the main production site. By its design, the Gigapress is a die-casting machine that is equipped with devices and systems necessary for the injection molding process. The working principle of the Gigapress is divided into the following stages. First of all, aluminum blocks and offcuts from the previous molding cycle are sent to a smelting furnace powered by natural gas. Here, they are melted at a temperature of 850 degrees Celsius, after which the liquid metal is sent through pipes to another closed furnace, where the temperature is maintained between 750 and 850 degrees Celsius. The empty space inside the furnace is filled with nitrogen, which prevents the formation of oxides in the molten aluminum and maintains a uniform temperature. The molten metal is then sent from the holding furnace to the stem chamber, where a high-speed press pushes the aluminum into the mold and remains in the mold to cool down to 400 degrees Celsius and solidify. The raw casting is then placed in a hardening bath to quickly reduce the metal temperature from 400 to 50 degrees Celsius. This is necessary in order to eliminate defects and improve material properties. Next, each raw part is cut to the required size using a mechanical cropping machine. X-ray check for internal defects and sent for final processing to a precision milling machine. Finally, the finished cast part is checked on a coordinate measuring machine and transferred to the assembly department. One of the main advantages of the Gigapress machines is that they run virtually non-stop. At the same time, the production time for one single piece is only 80 to 90 seconds. This corresponds to a production rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour, or about 1,000 castings per day or more than 300,000 castings per year per installation. 
New technology will allow Tesla to reduce the assembly line by 20% as well as reduce labor costs, maintenance of robotic equipment, delivery, and storage of parts. But more importantly, a qualitatively new approach will allow Tesla to significantly outperform competitors in terms of car assembly speed and make this process more predictable and automated. Previously, the manufacturer needed, as we said, 90 minutes for the final assembly of one car. Consequently, this process will obviously become even faster. This is fully compliant with Tesla's plans to produce up to a million electric vehicles a year in the near future. Whether competitors will be able to keep up with such a pace is a big question. Musk himself tweeted about the new auto manufacturing technology. With our giant casting machines, we're literally trying to make full-size cars just like toy cars. The Tesla founder also said that he is not going to be satisfied with what has already been achieved and plans to increase the share of larger parts in his electric cars. This will include switching to one molded part in the lower part of the body. Today, Tesla has installed two Gigapresses at its Fremont plant. The other three machines were seen at the Gigafactory Shanghai complex. Up to eight more of such die casting machines are planned to be located at the facilities of the Gigafactory Berlin in Germany where the production of the Tesla Model Y is being launched. In addition, IDRA has confirmed the delivery of the larger 9,000-ton Gigapresses, which will be used to stamp the body parts of the Tesla Cybertruck pickup at the Giga Texas Enterprise. The use of Gigapress equipment at all Tesla factories will help Elon Musk's company make another major breakthrough to expand the Tesla lineup in order to cover all major segments, from pickups to sports cars. Tesla continues to be a company that swims against the tide at all times and still shows stunning results despite all the difficulties. In that respect, the gigamania of Tesla and Elon Musk is nothing more than another triumph of engineering thoughts and the ability to see what others do not notice. Needless to say, we were lucky to observe these events in real time, which on all grounds resemble the technological revolution of the 21st century. Do you consider Elon Musk to be the person who drives the progress of mankind? Please share your thoughts in the comments.